Hello, today um, we're going to take apart this uh, rear this rear side panel. I had taken it apart before I was looking around YouTube for instructions on how to do it. I couldn't find any. So I kind of had to do it myself and figure it out. And I, I put everything back, uh, just kind of loosely some items just so that I could show you guys how to do it because I, I couldn't find any videos myself on how to do it. If, if I could find any, I'd probably just send you guys the link to, to that video, but uh, since I couldn't find any, I'm going to do it. So some of these screws I'll be uh, taking off are going to come off a little bit easier than for for you guys if you're doing it for the first time. I just kind of left it there and not really uh, fully screwed things back on. But uh, we'll, we'll go through the process and it's actually quite easy. Okay, so first you got to get rid of this. Remove this sucker. And from there, I'm going to climb in there and take a number 14, number 14 uh, socket wrench, take off this seat belt, which I have already taken off, so it's going to be like nothing for me. So you take it off, and I actually took it off the whole thing already. That's a different story of why I did that, but I already did. Uh, take off this, it pops right out. Not, not as easy as it did that time for me, of course, okay? Um, there are two pegs, plastic pegs. Down here, this will pry up. Uh, I think using a screwdriver is probably better for it since it, these do hold the side panels in there are no screws down on the bottom here so these pegs actually do a pretty good job plastic peg get those two off here well, there's a screw take off the whole thing the same thing over here. Take off that one too. There's a screw here. Another little plastic cover we'll need to pry off. Plastic cover. Underneath here, you take out that little hook, and there's a, you'll see another screw. Another screw right here. And uh, I think that's it of all these panel screws. Now, uh, these bar, this uh, chair holding bar, support bar, uh, take that same 14 socket wrench, and a screw right here, screw right here, another screw right here. Well, these are bolts. Oops. Uh, there's screws. There's one bolt. There's a nut and two bolts here, and this will come out. You'll need that because it'll get in the way if you try to take this out. Um, so that, that is basically all the screws. You'll need to pop this thing open. Uh, if you have a seat belt there, the strap, you'll need to open that to give uh, yourself access to pull it out, okay? So from there, uh, it's, everything snaps into place. So if you come on this side, you'll see that the hardest part, you have to get underneath and, and, and lift, lift up uh, this bottom part to free up, to 
free up the side panel. So once you get that out and you free it up, everything will come off those little snap things. There you go. Side panel is off. If you wanted to take this part off, which uh, I'm, I'm not going to, I, you can. It, it's actually very easy. There's only these two screws right here, and this will pop right off. So you uh, get your your tool again and flip this out, and it's going to expose two screws. And those are the only two actual screws that are holding this thing in and after that everything will snap right out again you want to be careful you snap things out uh, the way that they were meant to go if you try to snap something in a different direction you might break the peg and when you put it back in it won't fit in as nicely because the peg's broken all right so this is what it looks like on the inside and you can see there's there's some some inches of space to be gained by taking off that so i'm going to build a my micro rb shelving right here so I'm going to need this this met steel wall to mount my shelves in since I'm going to suspend it okay good luck